Hey everyone and welcome back to another GT Online Weekly Updates video. Going about this week, we have the Albany VSTR as the prize ride challenge and the challenges for this week is that we need to come in the top 2 places for 4 days in a row in either of the LS Carmel series races, that is the Pursuit series or the Street Race series, either of them. And then moving on to the Casino Podium, we have the Variner HKR. Not a huge fan of this car, but if you are, then go ahead and try out your luck at the Casino Podium. And now moving on to the other stuff that's going on for this week. Well, we have got a new vehicle released to GT Online. Not one, but actually two of them being released. The first and foremost is the Pinard La Curies. I really hope that I spelled that right, you know, correct pronunciation. If not, once again, correct me down in the comments. And uh, yeah, well, nonetheless, the La Curies has been released with a price tag of $2 million. And uh, this is actually one of a new type vehicles. It is an EV, but it has got these crazy looking LEDs that is, you know, glowing LEDs. So it's kind of actually cool. But yeah, apart from that, there's nothing else with this. And another vehicle that's released is the Inductor with a price tag of $50,000. <laughs> that would be like, you know, insane in real life. But anyways, this is GTA and inflation. Yeah, there's also the junk livery one. It's basically just a livery on top of it. So nothing crazy or anything but hey it has got a boost feature i actually tried it out and there's also these new junk energy everyday trial races so make sure to get this vehicle because i just did one of those you know j this is the first day so i just gave it a try and i actually made back fifty-five thousand. so i made like five thousand more than what i actually spent on getting this vehicle so definitely get these these are going to be there for every single day so you'll probably like make a lot more money than you actually invest on so go ahead and get this it's one of the you know pretty much a good investment type purchase so so you do not have to think twice and then moving on to the discounts that's going on for this week we have the d-class dr1 as well as the ocelot r88 on discount the two f1 cars and adding to that there's also the pegasi torero xo on discount there's quite a few discounts going on for this week actually there's the karate tally gto and there's the Ocelot Pariah as well on discount. Moving on to the Super Autos, we have the Dominator ASP as well as the Ocelot Lynx in the Luxury Autos. And in the test drive area of the LS Carmi, there's the p Fister 811 on discount. Yeah, these are not going to be showing up on the website. So you'll actually have to go to those particular places and then make the purchases. Apart from all these, there's also the Avenger on discount. There's also a few discounts on the gun turret and the other one. But since I already had them, I can't actually show the discount. Anyways, apart from that, there's also the auto shops on discount. But keep in mind, just the property itself is having the discount. None of the upgrades or renovations, they are not having any sort of discount. And then moving on to the time trials that's going on for this week, we have the normal time trials at the Tongwa Valley with a part time of 58 seconds. This is quite tricky and it's basically a single road, but you know, it's slightly tricky. So good luck. We can actually complete it in just like two to three tries. No issues. And for the Aussie time trials, it is at the Little Seoul with a part time of 1 minute 50 seconds. Slightly tricky. And for the junk energy race that's going on for today, it is going to be held at the sewer system right near to the casino. Pretty good. And then moving on to the bonuses that's going on for this week, we have triple money bonus going on the street races as well as the pursuit series races in the LS car mate and also the reputation is also paying out triple. So take advantage of it and level up, you know, if you're interested in that. Adding to that, there's also open wheel racers paying out triple money. Every single bonus event that's going on for this week is having a triple money bonus. So that's a good thing. And apart from that, there's also the special vehicle racers. All of them, once again, paying out triple money. There's quite a lot of them. So give them a try. These are also pretty fun. So yeah, like I said, give them a try. And up next, there's the hot ring circuit that too on triple money this week. And last but not the least, some of the community series races or the activities, you know, events are also on triple money so these are the new ones that are being added to the game so only these are on triple money not the rest of them and that's pretty much it guys those are all the stuff that's going on for this week i mean compared to the previous weeks and uh, and the, the ones before that they were kind of lame and uh, pretty much boring kind of made us you know hibernate for some time but yeah two vehicles back to back being released in just a single day that's uh, not you know the rockstar style but hey we were bored so yeah definitely gonna take it 
the new pinard can also be customized with the imani tech as well so you know just informing you all as i missed it but anyways that is the two new vehicles as well as the new events the activities that's being added to gta online pretty good you know somewhat fresh new content so no complaints from my side but still gta online you know <laughs> it's dead by now almost 10 years anyways guys that's pretty much ragging those are all the stuff that's going on for this week new vehicles new activities and uh, bonuses let me know all your thoughts and opinions down in the comments what do you guys think and what not yeah do drop the video a like and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already make sure to stay tuned thank you all and have a good day